الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين استفى خصوصا على أفضلهم وخاتم النبيين محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى كما ورد في سورة يونس عليه الصلاة والسلام أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما كان هذا القرآن أن يفترى من دون الله ولكن تصديق الذي بين يديه وتفصيل الكتاب لا ريب فيه من رب العالمين أم يقولون افتراه قل فأتوا بسورة مثله وادعوا من, من استطعتم من دون الله إن كنتم صادقين بل كذبوا بما لم يحيطوا بعلمه ولما يأتهم تأويله كذلك كذب الذين من قبلهم فانظر كيف كان عاقبة الظالمين ومنهم من يؤمن به ومنهم من لا يؤمن به وربك عالم بالمفسدين صدق الله العظيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم ربنا الهمنا رشدنا واعذنا من شرور انفسنا اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم ربنا انس وحشتنا في قبورنا وارحمنا بالقران العظيم اللهم اجعله لنا اماما ونورا وهدى ورحمه اللهم ذكرنا منهما نسينا وعلمنا منهما جهلنا وارزقنا تلاوته آنا الليل وآنا النهار واجعله لنا حجة يا رب العالمين آمين Dear brothers and sisters and sons and daughters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته You must have noted that although we had completed our study of Surah Yunus up till Ayah 38. But we are beginning today again from Ayah 37. Because you know the subject which was under discussion, the sequence and continuation requires it. And this Quran is not such a thing which could be composed by anyone else but Allah. Now there are three dimensions of the Quran. It's literary beauty. That was a miracle for the Arabs. They could appreciate. It was their own language. So actually, this aspect of Quran being a miracle was most apparent to the Arabs. So this is for them. Number two, Second dimension, it confirms that which is present before it. Before it. That is Torah, Injil. Although Muhammad never studied them, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was an unlettered person. He didn't know what is Torah, what is Injil. مَا كُنْتَ تَدْرِيمَ الْكِتَابُ وَلَا الْإِيمَانِ وَلَكِنْ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُورًا نَحْدِي بِهِ مَنْ نَشَاءُ مَنْ عِبَادِنَا We shall study this ayah in Surah Al-Shura. So that aspect was a miracle for the people of the book. وَالتَّفْسِيلَ الْكِتَابِ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ And third dimension is that it is the details of the law. And this is for all of humanity for all time to come. لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ And there is no doubt about it. Bil Rabbil Alameen, that it is from the Lord of all the worlds. Now because here in the Bakki Surahs, the main address is to the pagan Arabs, the unlettered one, the Ummiyin, as now they are asked and challenged regarding that aspect of Quran which relates to them. And that is the beauty of Quran, the literary beauty. Am Yaqulun Aftara, are they saying that he has... That is, Muhammad had, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, composed it, forged it. Qul fatu bi suratim mislihi. So put a challenge to him, to them. 
you bring forth one surah like this badru man istata'tum min dunillah call for your help whomsoever you can in kuntum sadiqin if you are really in doubt this is a piercing question searching question telling them that you don't have any doubt that this book cannot be composed by any human being at least this aspect of this book was absolutely clear but regarding the teachings of the book there could be two types of persons there were there were the persons who felt that whatever this book is saying is correct their souls had testified to the truthfulness of this book but because of their obstinacy because of their haughtiness because of their positions because of their arrogance they were denying it and belying it knowingly but there were others also because all were not of such a level of consciousness of understanding there were others who actually couldn't comprehend what quran is saying they they were finding it difficult for them to understand what quran is saying they needed some time so those people are referred here bal kazabu bima lam yuhitu bi ilmihi wal ma yatihim ta'wilu but they have denied this quran or because you know they could not comprehend what it is saying lam yahuti lam yuhitu bi ilmihi they couldn't comprehend you know the knowledge that it contained wal ma yatihim ta'wilu and its interpretation has not up till now come this has been translated or interpreted in two ways tawilu meaning thereby the punishment which the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was threatening that if you don't believe in me you will be punished that punishment has not up till come secondly is that because you know from the very beginning the ayat which were revealed they were very profound and you know it was not easy for all of the people to understand them fully later on they were explained and then it became easy to understand by a common man also that we shall find you know in the beginning of the next surah that is surah hud alai salatu wassalam alif lam ra kitabun uhkimat ayatuhu thumma fussilat min ladun hakim khabir this is special style of this book you know the surahs which were revealed in the beginning are very small but very profound in meaning very strong saturated you may say of wisdom but then you know slowly and gradually these things were explained so mafussalat min ladul hakim min khabir so actually common people could have found it a difficulty to understand what quran was saying in the beginning بل كذبوا بما لم يحيطوا بعلمه ولما ياتهم تعويله كذلك كبل كذب الذين من قبلهم in the same way those who were before them they also belied and rejected فانظر كيف كان عاقبة الظالمين so you you can your see you for yourself what was the end what was what happened to them end of the evil doers what happened to عاد what happened to سمود at least these two nations were from the arabian peninsula southern part and southwestern part wa minhum man yu'minu bihi wa minhum man la yu'minu bihi now because you know in arabic language this fa'lul muzari it comprises both of the present tense and the future tense minhum man yu'minu bihi there are among them who believe in it although they don't accept it openly they know it it is from allah but they can't do it due to their obstinacy due to their haughtiness arrogance this is the they, they believe this is this is book of allah they have recognized it but they don't they are not ready to to you know announce it wa minhum man la yu'minu bihi and there are others who have not been able to comprehend and they don't believe in it but you can translate it in the future tense also among them are who will believe in it sooner or later those people who had not up till now understood it so there is every hope that when the details come to them they will they will they will believe in it 
in the present system which is threatened by what muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has brought they are not going to accept it they have to resist it to the nail wa in kazabu ka fa qul li amali wa lakum amalakum amalukum and if they belie you reject you then tell them for me are my deeds for you are your deeds whatever i am earning whatever i am doing is i am earning for myself whatever you are earning now it's up to you to see what you are earning but it is for you antum bariyum mimma a'malu wa ana bariyum mimma ta'malu you are not responsible for what i am doing and i am not responsible for what you are doing wa minhum may yastami'una ilayk now these people are discussed who are denying the quran who are belying the quran knowingly that is the book of allah wa minhum may yastami'una ilayk and there are among them who listen to you very attentively wa minhum may yastami'una ilayk and among them are the, their people who listen to you very attentively o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam apparently afanta tusmi'u summa walau kanu la yaqilun but can you make the deaf hear you can't do they are deaf actually they are only apparently listening but there are the the, the the hearts have been sealed although they might not be understanding it the min hum may yanzuru ilayk and there are among them who look at you afanta tahdil umiya walau kanu la yusiru but can you guide the blind people they are not actually they are not seeing they appear to be seeing but they are blind the the heart the the seal has already been put on their hearts wala kanu la yubsirun and although they might not be seeing in the la la yazlimu an-nas shay'an but don't think you know this condition of their it is not from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is due to their own obstinacy they recognize the truth and then they rejected it so actually this is the as i told you a term of physiology this use atrophy allah subhanahu wa taala had given them the faculty of understanding but when you know they knew it they recognized it and they rejected it so that faculty became less and less and less and less and a time came when it reached that point of no return that faculty now no more exists now so this is not any you know zulm from allah subhanahu wa taala inna la la yaslimu an-nas shay'an wa lakinna an-nas anfus anfusum yaslimu actually these are the people who are doing wrong to themselves allah doesn't do, do wrong to anybody else anybody wa yawma yahshuruhum kalam yalbasu illa sa'atan min an-nahar yata'arafuna bainahum and the day on which we shall gather them all they will feel as if they had not stayed in the world and in the graves also but only for an hour of the day this is how we shall feel when we will be resurrected you know and we can have the experience now i am 60 years old 60 this is the 64th year of my life but you know the events of childhood appear to be as if they were today the yesterday all this distance you know and all this it goes off so they wouldn't feel that they lived in the world or in the graves but except for an hour of the day yata'arafun abainahum and they will only recognize each other oh this is the person so they will recognize qad khasara alladhina kazzabu bi liqa'i allah people who disbelieved the meeting with their lord with allah this is the fourth time liqa'a allah 
لا یرجون لقاء انا 3 ٹائمز لاسٹ نائٹ وی ریڈ اٹ اینڈ ائی ٹولڈ یو دس از دی کی ورڈ اف دس سورہ قد خسر الذين كذبوا دوز ہو ڈینائیڈ میٹنگ وتھ اس دے ہیو پٹ دیم سیم آلریڈی انٹو دی لاس وما کانو مہتدین and they are not going to be guided to the right path why ma nuriyanna ka baad alladheena aiduhum aw natawaffayannak failaina marjehum summa allah shahidun ala ma yafalun now in the background is the threat that was given by all the messengers i am the messenger of allah if you don't accept me don't believe in me a punishment will come to you you will be exterminated this is the law all the nations exterminated finished destroyed so these the same was the threatening that was coming to them through quran but now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa in maduriyanna ka ba'd alladhi da'iduhum this is also possible that we see so we show you some of the things which we are promising them in within your lifetime that end might come awna ta wafayannaka and this is also possible that we possess you make you to die fa'inna fa'ilaina marjuhum then to us is their return summa allah shahidun ala ma yafalun and then allah is seeing what they are doing he is the witness over whatever they are doing wa li kulli ummatin rasul very important i told you there are other ayat also in the quran to the same effect daim min qaryatin illa khala fiha nazir wa li kulli qaumin had and now note here wa li kulli ummatin rasul for every community we sent a messenger fa iza ja rasuluhum qudiya bainahum bil qist and when their messengers came to them well their case was decided but with justice wa hum la yuslamun and they were not wrong wa yaquluna mata hadha al wa'du in kuntum sadiqin and they say when will this promise be fulfilled when will the punishment come well you know i've been listening punishment will come chastisement will come torment will come oh we have we are fed up of listening and hearing It's you know more than ten years that we have been hearing all that. Why you call them mata hazal wa'du in kuntu sadiqi? If you are true, O Muslims, when this this torment will come? When this promise will be fulfilled? Qul la amle kulle nafsi dharam wala nafa illa ma sha Allah. Tell them, I don't possess, I don't have power. for my own self even for any thing which is hurt, which which might hurt or anything which may be profitable i have no power illa ma sha allah except what allah subhanahu wa taala decrees li kulli ummatin ajal the other part of the law and for every community a fixed time period Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed from the very beginning. Iza jaja lahum fala yastakhiruna sa'atan wala yastakdibun. When that appointed time will come, they will not be able to postpone it for even an hour. But it cannot be advanced also. Even if you demand, even if I like, even if the Muslims like, well the time has fixed by allah subhanahu wa taala it has been fixed it will come on its time even if i want it won't come earlier because allah subhanahu wa taala has fixed a period for every community le kulli ummatin ajal iza jaja lahum fala yastakhiruna sa'atan wala yastaqdibun qul araitum in atakum azab azabuhu bayatan aw naharan ma za yastajiru minhu almujrimun say to them Have you ever considered if that punishment comes over you suddenly during the night or during the day what good will it be for for which they are hastening it will be azab 
it will be torment it will be punishment why do you want that it should come soon you should be thankful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is giving you respite maybe during this time some of you come to believe some of you see the light and they then are included in those who will be saved asumma idha ma waqaman tum bihi is it that when it has happened and occurred then you will believe in it then it will be of no use alan waqad kuntum bihi tastajilu and then it will be said oh what now you want to believe and you were hastening for it you were demanding it that it should come early but after that comes you know then believing is of no use is of no avail summa qila lil ladina zalamu zuqu azab al khuld now this was the torment of this dunya this world that to any community to whom the messenger was sent and they rejected him most of them but you know what happened at makkah there were a sizable number of people who accepted muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they migrated with him then there were others who had accepted him but couldn't migrate so the conditions in makkah were different that is why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said their case is going to be a diff- bit different muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you must note because their case is not the case like the case of new the people of new or the people of hud they almost and mass rejected their messengers this is not the case wa imma nuriyannaka ba'd alladhina a'iduhum aw natawaffayannaka fa ilayna marja'uhum summa allahu shahidun ala ma yafalu this ayah we had already read ayah number 46 so actually it was a different case with the people of makkah but you know what has been discussed in ayah 51 that is the torment of this world now the real torment and real punishment and real chastisement is to come in the hereafter summa qila lil ladina zalamu zuqu azab al khuld hal tujzauna illa ma kuntum taksibun then it will be said to these people these evil doers now taste this lasting chastisement this lasting punishment this lasting torment hal tujzauna illa bima kuntum ta'malu you are not being rewarded or recompensed but for what you had been earning wa yastambiuna ka haqqun hu and they ask you o oh muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is it really the truth that you are saying now this could be in two ways maybe a person who had recognized that this is the truth but laughingly jokingly o oh muhammad Do you actually believe in it? Do you really feel, or you are only posing, or are you only joking? Akul who? Do you claim it is the truth? But maybe there were the other types of people, because lam yahi tu be ilmi who had not been able to comprehend it. He might have been asking this question earnestly, sincerely, O oh Muhammad. sallallahu alaihi wasallam is it really the truth so this can go both ways wa yastabiuna aka haqqun hu qul yi wa rabbi innahu la haqq say yes by my lord it is the truth now what's the argument in it there's no logical argument but the argument of the personality of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the new muhammad never lied he never told a lie and now he is saying it bala e wa rabbi i swear by my lord this is the truth in hul haqq wa ma antum mujrimin and you will not be able to escape you will not be able to defeat allah wala wanna li kulli nafsin zalamat ma fi al-ard lafdadat bihi and if for these people these souls if a soul or a person who is the evil doer had he possessed all the wealth of the world he would offer it to ransom him on the day of judgment wasadun nadamata 
and they will hide or conceal their regrets, remorse. But you know, Abdullah Yusuf Ali has translated it in absolutely opposite way. They will have to declare their regrets. And you know, these, this word Israr, because it's my name also, you know, there had been controversy in Pakistani press during early 80s about my name also. Just like Mawlana Abu Lala Madud's name, it was also discussed. This name is wrong. Al-Ala is Allah. How come Abu Lala is the father of Allah? So, you know, some people said those things in the end. It was in a, a matter of common interest for some days in the press. In the same way, my name was also discussed. Isra. What does it mean? But when I studied, you know, Lisanul Arab, I found that this word has both the meanings. To hide something, Asarna Yusir no Isra. And to, to, to tell some secret. Because if all, you know, it has a quality, this bab, if all, has a quality which is called in Arabic, Nahwan grammar, Salbi Ma'akhiz. Salbi Ma'akhaz. False means money. If last, without money. To sir means secret. To break the secret, Israr. And to keep the secret, Israr. So it has double meanings. So these two meanings, you know, they are included in this world. Asarun Nadaba. They will hide within them the regrets that they will have, what had, what we did. Or they will have to, and they will, you know, they will declare their regrets. When they will see that punishment, and you know, it will be decided with justice among them. And they will not be wronged. Behold, whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth belongs to Allah. Behold, the promise of Allah is true. But most of them don't know. Who are you? Who you meet? It is He who gives life. And it is he who puts to death. And then you will be returned to him. Now we find two ayat, you know, very important ayat regarding, you know, Quran, the level of Quran. How big a blessing it is. What are its different aspects? How he influences human beings ya yuhannas o oh mankind qad jaatkum mauizatum mir rabbikum to you has already come the sermon the heart rendering sermon from your lord note this word sermon qad jaatkum mauizatum mir rabbikum number 1 wa shifaun lima fi sudur and the cure of the ills of the heart what are the ills of the heart love of this world love of wealth lust for power jealousy haughtiness these are the ills of the heart or the diseases of the soul number one it is the sermon heart rendering sermon number two it's the cure for all the diseases of your hearts and souls. Bahudan. Number three is the guidance. Warahma. Number four is the mercy. But this is Hudam Warahma Lil Mumineen. Only for those who believe in it. Now this has a logic in this sequence, you know. Because if the hearts have hardened, just as we know, Summa Kasat Kulubukum Fayakal Hijarat Yawashadu Kaswa. So no advice will be able to be effective. If you know a patient is vomiting, 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 so you can't give him any medicine through stomach. You have to inject the, the medicine. In the same way, if the you know land is hard, even if rain comes, the water will just go pass by. It won't be absorbed. 
so it won't bring out the hidden treasures in that land first of all you have to soften the land so these hearts must be softened first and for that softening of the heart you need sermon heart rendering sermon which you know softens the heart the soil the heart is like a soil it must be softened for that you need sermon now the medicine will be absorbed when it is absorbed now it will cure the ills of your souls but if it is not absorbed you just hear from one ear and it goes out from the other what use so actually number 1 more is a number 2 shifaun lima fi sudur and when the ills of the heart and the soul are cured only then you can avail of the guidance otherwise whole the guidance might be put before you it's of no use to you fadal lil muttaqin unless there is a sincere desire to have guidance all the guidance might be produced before you it will be of no avail and the final result and that is mercy that will appear in the hereafter ya ayuhan nas qad ja'atkum mawizatun mir rabbikum wa shifaun lima fi sudur wa hudan wa rahmatun lil mu'minin qul bi fadlillah wa bi rahmatihi say it has come from the bounty of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qul bi fadlillah this is the biggest manifestation of the bounties of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only if we could evaluate it only if we could appreciate it full bi fadlillah wa bi rahmati this is the manifestation of the bounty and mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fa bi zalika fal yafrahu on this they should rejoice if you know there is some lottery of 5 million dollars somebody gets it he rejoices it has come to me oh you muslims oh you human beings if you can only evaluate what's the value of this quran you must rejoice in it that you have have it fa bi zalika fal yafrahu although this farah this word is not used in good sense la tafrah commonly it is not used in good sense but here if you have to enjoy over enjoyment it is farah is over enjoyment over happiness but if you want to be over happy this is the wealth true wealth so fa bi zalika fal yafrahu huwa khairum mim ma yajmaun it is much better than what they are gathering and amassing the worldly wealth the articles the furniture you know the articles of decoration decoration pieces very costly decoration pieces being bought and you know you put them in your drawing room so that a visitor is impressed you know the antiques so oh, everything that you are proud of huwa khairum mimma yajma'u this quran is much valuable much better than all those things which they gather qul araytum ma anzala Allah lakum min rizqin faj'altum minhu haraman wa halala This subject has been discussed, you know, in detail in the Madani surahs. Ask them: Have you ever considered that one Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has sent down for you as provision, as food? Fajal tu mino hararam wa haramam wa halal, and you have declared on your own, out of these something to be permissible, something to be haram, and something to be forbidden. On what authority? قل الله اذن لكم هذا الله given you the authority where is the authority on what on the basis of what authority are you? have you declared these things am على الله تفترون or you are forging these things and attributing it them, it, them to Allah وما ظن الذين يفترون على الله الكذب يوم القيامة these words can be translated in two ways what is their thought about the day of judgment ma zannu alladhina yaftaruna ala allahi al-kadhiba al-yawm al-qiyamah what do they think about the yawm al-qiyamah the day of resurrection those who are knowingly willingly forging things and attributing them to allah what do they think about the day of the resurrection the day of you know 
of Qiyamah, the second wave. What will be their thoughts on the day of Qiyamah, on the day of judgment? وَمَا ظَنُوا الَّذِينَ يَفْتَلُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَذُو فَضْلِ لَنَا النَّاسِ But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bountiful for the mankind. وَلَكِنَّ أَكْسَرَهُمْ لَا يَشْكُرُونَ But most of them are not grateful. وَمَا تَكُونُ فِي شَانٍ A very beautiful ayah. You know, it's very encouraging for a moment. When he is doing something good or he is suffering for the cause of Allah and his deen, that he, see, he knows that Allah is seeing me. I am in the sight of my Lord. He is not unaware of me and my difficulties. If I am suffering for him, he knows it. It's not the case, as you know in Urdu we say, Mar gaye hum unhe khabar na hui. No, he knows. Whatever you are doing, it's in knowledge. Whatever you are spending, he knows it. If any suffering you are enduring, he knows it. And you are not occupied with any matter. Nor do you recite any portion of the Quran. Nor do you do any work. إِلَّا كُنَّا عَلَيْكُمْ شَهُودًا But we are witness over you when you are engaged therein. Is to feed you on a fee. وَمَا يَعْظُمُكَ عَنْ رَبِّكَ مِنْ مِسْقَالِ زَرَّةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فِي السَّمَاءِ And even a particle is not hidden from the sight of your Lord throughout the heavens and the earth. وَلَا أَصْغَرَ مِنْ ذَلِكَ وَلَا أَكْبَرَ nor is there anything smaller than the particle, nor bigger than the particle. Illa fi kitabim mugeen. But it is recorded in a clear manifest book. I told you, by this book is meant the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything is there in the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There have been philosophers, especially, you know, the people who follow Aristotle. And we call them Mashayin in, you know, Arabic philosophy, this school of thought. They are called Mashayin. And they have an idea that Allah knows only the principles and general rules, not all the details. And they are the philosophers, they are the thinkers. That is why we can appreciate why Quran so much emphasizes it. He knows everything. Not a single particle is out of his sight. And you know, the word atom could not be used at that time. And protons and neutrons or photons. But here, asgara. Wala asgara min Even the smaller, something smaller than a particle also he knows. And whatever is bigger, it is his knowledge. Allah, now again two ayat. They are quoted many a time in the sermons, you know, especially those ulama and those, you know, khutaba and orators who belong to the Brailvi school of thought in the Indian subcontinent, these two ayat, but please understand them here today, what they are. Ala inna awliya Allah la khawfun alayhim wa lahum yahsanoon. Hundred percent correct. Behold, for the, for the friends of Allah, there is no fear upon them, nor will they grieve. Very correct, 100% correct. All Ya Allah, friends of Allah, who have put all their faith in Allah, who have given themselves over to Allah. Supurdum beto maya khishra, to dani isabe kamu bishra. Oh Allah, I give myself over to you. You know what is better for me and you know what is not good for me. Whatever comes to me from my from my friend, my beloved, well, that it is it is from his bounty. Maybe for the time being it is appearing to me to be unpleasant. It is hurting me. But I know. Because when you know. 
when we used to take quinine for malaria how you know bitter it was and the child if he was forced by the mother you have to drink it but it was for the benefit of the child but that didn't benefit from you know from that medicine so even if something is unpleasant for us we know it is from allah subhanahu wa taala har che saqi mari ikhtayn al tafus whatever is coming from him qul la yusibana illa ma kataba allah lana wa ma lana we have read this ayah in surah at tawbah so it's 100% correct it's not a piece of poetry it's absolutely logical ala inna awliya allah la khawfun alayhim wala hum yahzanun but who are they awliya allah are they special species a different species from the human beings no they are also humans alladheena amanu wa kanu yattaqun that's all you can also become a waliullah it's nothing you know reserved for certain people only you have to have the real faith alladheena amanu kanu ya taqwa the real faith and taqwa the real consciousness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these two things allazina amanu wa kanu ya taqwa the real mu'min is waliullah and allah is the wali of the true mu'mins allahu waliyyu allazina amanu yukhrijuhum min adh-dhulumati ila an-nur wal ladhina kafaru awliya'uhum at-taghut yukhrijunahum min an-nur ila adh-dhulumat So it's a two-way phenomenon. If you are sincere to your Lord, He becomes your wali, and you also become His wali. Allah inna alia Allah la khofan alaihi mulahum yahzanun alazina amanu wa kanu yattaqu. It's so simple. Lahumul bushra fil hayat al dunya. For them, there are glad tidings in the life of this world also. the filakhir al fadi and in the hereafter also la tabdila li kalimat allah there can be none who can change the words of allah commands of allah zalika huwal fawzul azim and this actually this is the great success real iman real taqwa you become waliullah and this is the success لا يحزن کا قولهم let not their words whatever they are saying grieve you o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ان العزه لله جميعا all glory and honor belongs to allah who is sami ul alim and is all all hearing all knowing الا ان لله من في السماوات ومن في الارض behold to allah belongs every one who is in the heavens and who is in the earth now man and ma these are two words ma whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth and man whosoever is in the heavens okay whosoever is in in the earth wa ma yattabi'u alladhina yaduna min dunillahi shuraka and these people who are calling upon other deities except allah they are not actually following any any real entity they are their own concoctions in yattabiuna illa zan they are not following but their own conjectures is their own imagination which they are following they are following none in yattabi'una illa zanna wa inhum illa yakhrusun and they are only guessing nothing else huwa alladhi ja'ala lakum al-layla litaskunu fihi wan-nahara mubsira it is he who has made the night for you so that you can have rest in it wan-nahara mubsira and he has made the day to see now there is a special mode our style of the quran which should be understood from here you know which it is called hazf economy on words whatever is absolutely clear by itself 
it is omitted or deleted left to the reader to complete it two things are opposing each other huwa allazi ja'ala al-layla li taskunu fi here the word musliman has been omitted huwa allazi ja'ala al-layla musliman li taskunu fi he has made the night dark so that you can take rest in it wan nahara mubsiran and he has made the day to see so that li ta'maluna fi li taksibu fi so that you can earn you can go about so one thing omitted from that side the other thing omitted from this side you may call it the economy on words why to use extra words when it can be understood with this hasf also huwa allazi ja'ala lakum al-layla musliman in bracket li taskunu fi wan nahara mubsiran li ta'malu fi inna fi zalika al-ayat li qawmin yasma'un definitely in these are signs for those who listen listen with a living heart not listening with a, with a dead heart with a dead soul i i recall you know in that very famous poem a psalm of life this word has been used soul dead i will try to recall life is real tell me not in mournful numbers life is but an empty dream life is real life is earnest and the death is not its goal dust thou art to dust return this what was spoken of the soul but you know there, there is a line in the soul death of soul sabr for the soul is dead that slumbers and things are not what they seem life is real life is earnest and the death is not its goal so that is a point you know that the souls die is a universally accepted phenomenon you know this higher poetry that also something near you know the consciousness the consciousness of these poets is at a higher level they appreciate some reality psychic psychological realities some cosmological realities they appreciate and that is why you know people are moved when you listen to that poetry ho allazi ja'ala lakum al-layla tuskunu fi wa an-nahara mubsiran inna fi zalika al-ayati li qawmi yasma'un there are signs in it for those who listen with living souls living hearts qalu takhadallahu walada and they say that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken son or daughter aulad children subhana glory to be glory be to whom him who was ani he is self sufficient he doesn't need any son you need it why because you know you are going to die so you think that you know some sort of my own existence would continue through my son after all he is a part and parcel of my own existence he has emanated from me so that is actually why we we love to have you know sons but a lot of them need it he is ever living wa ma yanbaghi lir rahman an yattakhiza walada we'll read it in surah maryam inshallah qalu takhadha allah waladan subhanahu wal ghani lahu ma fi as-samawat wa ma fi al-ard to him belongs everything that is in the heavens and the earth in indakum min sultanin bihada you don't have any authority any warrant on which you are proclaiming it ataqulun ala allah ma la ta'lamun do you say and attribute to allah you know taqulu ala qul ala saying something and then attributing it to someone else you are saying and attributing to allah which you don't know قُلْ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَفْتَرُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ لَا يُفْلِحُونَ Tell them. Those who concoct and forge things and then attribute to them to Allah, they will never be prosperous. They will never be successful. مَتَعُونَ فِي الدُّنْيَا Except for some enjoyment in this world. If they take it to be success, okay, this success is granted to them. But the real success, 
of the real life of hereafter. They will never have. Summa ilayna marji'uhum, then to us will be their return. Summa nuziquhum ul azab al-shareedah bima kanu yakbaroon. And then we shall make them taste the hardest punishment due to what they had been earning and due to what they had been denying and rejecting. Watlu alayhim naba nuhim. I told you this surah comprises of 11 rukus. Only two, they are engaged by Abbaw Rusul, the big news of the messengers of the past. And here you will find Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam discussed in half of the ruku. And the rest of one and a half ruku fully devoted to Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. The first and the last. And the intervening four, that is Hud, Saleh, Lut, Shaib, alayhi salatu wasalam, not mentioned by name even. Only one sentence, one ayah regarding them. You will find this thing absolutely converse in the next surah, surah al -Hud. Out of the 12 sections, more than 6, they are occupied by Ambaur Rasul. There, Hazrat Nuh will have two full sections, 25 ayat, and Hazrat Musa only mentioned in one line. And the rest four will also be devoted, one section each, just as it was in the case of Surah Al-Araf. So this reciprocal ratio and proportion, you know, that is also a sign of the surahs that they are pairs. And recite to them the news of Nuh, alayhi salatu wasalam, is qala li qawmihi, when he said to his nation, Ya qawmi in kana kabur alaykum maqami wa taskiri. Oh my people, if by standing amongst you, and reminding you by ayatillah, with the revelations of Allah has become very hard on you, unbearable for you. Kabur alaykum, maqami wa taskiri bi ayatillah. Fa'al Allah tawakkal to. So listen, I have put all my faith in Allah. Fa'ajmi'u amrakum. You all agree on some plan against me. Whatever you can do, do against me. Just the same type of challenging in dance, you know, challenging style. Now, whatever you can do, go ahead. Ajmeru amrakum wa shurakakum. And all your false gods, call them also. So, malayakun amrakum alaykum gumma. And then, then, then there should be no ambiguity about your plans. Make decisions clearly. So, makdu ilayyal. Then you, whatever you want to do to me, do it. Walatun zaroon. Don't give me any respite. I am not asking or requesting you for any respite. Now, you know, this part, you it can be only after a very long time. Very long time. Just as we see in Surah al -Nuh. Because there also, Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam, you know, he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for azab. Such harsh words. Don't leave even one single home of these kuffar, you know, intact. So this happens only in the last phases of those str struggle going on between the messenger of Allah on the one side and, you know, the chiefs of the nation and the tribe on the other side. When it reaches to that climax, then the prophet or the messenger used to say, okay, if you are fed up with me, I am also fed up with you. Now do whatever you can. وَطْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ نَبَا نُوحٍ إِذْ قَالَ لِقَوْمِ يَا قَوْمِ إِنْ كَانَ كَبْرُ عَلَيْكُمْ مَقَامِي وَتَسْكِيرِ بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ فَعَلَى اللَّهِ تَوَكَّلْتُ فَأَجْمِعُوا أَمْرَكُمْ وَشُرَكَاكُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَكُلْ أَمْرُكُمْ عَلَيْكُمْ غُمَّةً ثُمَّ مَقْضُوا إِلَيَّ did I ever ask for any pay, any salary, any reward? In ajri Allah, ala Allah, my rewards rest with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am his servant. I am his whole time paid 
سرونچ یہ بھی پہ بھی وہ امیر تو انا کون امین المسلم ابن کمانڈ دیٹ آئی شوڈ بی امنگ دی مسلم امنگ دی امنگ دوز ہو سبمٹ دیم سیلس تو وٹ ایور کمانڈ دیر لارڈ گیوز فقط زبو ہو سو دے ریجیکٹڈ ہم بلائڈ ہم فور نت جائنا ہوا مم آو فی الفلک تو وی ڈیلیورڈ ڈیلیورڈ ہم اینڈ دوز ہو ور ود ہم ان دی آرک وجالہم خلائف اینڈ وی میڈ دیم دی سکسیسرز اور دی وائف ٹیرنٹس آن ارت دی ریسٹ آف دی ہیمینیٹی آل ڈرانٹ اینڈ یو نو نیکسٹ آفٹر دیم آل تھری سنز آف نو علیہ السلام دے آر دی فور فادرز نو آف آل دی نیشنز آف دی ورلڈ سام حام اینڈ یافس دے ور دی سکسیسرز فَقَذَّبُوهُ فَنَجَّيْنَاهُ وَمَمْعَهُ فِي الْفُلْقِ وَجَعَلْنَاهُ خَلَائِفِ وَغْرَقْنَا الَّذِينَ قَذَّبُوا بِعَيَاتِنَا And we drowned all those who rejected and belied our revelations. فَنْزُرْ كَيْفَ كَانْ عَاقِبَةُ الْمُنْزَرِينَ So you see what was the result, end of those who were warned. They were not destroyed without warning. They were warned for 900 years. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا نُوحًا إِلَىٰ قَوْمِ فَلَبِسَ فِيهِمْ أَلْفَ سَنَةٍ إِلَّا خَمْسِينَ عَامًا Only 50 less than a thousand. 950 years. Now in next one ayah, the mention is being made of the four messengers who were mentioned, you know, Separately, each one of them in one ruku, one section in Surah Al-Araf. Summa ba'asna min ba'dihi rusulan ila qawmihim. And then we sent messengers to their nations. After whom? After, you know, the people of Nuh. Summa ba'asna min ba'dihi. After Nuh, rusulam ila qawmihim. Messengers to their nations. Fajawuhum bil bayyinat. They also came to them. With bayyanat, self-evident truths, miracles. Bayyan, something which is absolutely evident and clear. About which there can be no doubt. So these, the teachings of the prophets were bayyan. The miracles of the prophets were bayyan. The revelations which came to the prophet were bayyan. So bayyan can cover all these three things. فَمَا كَانُوا لَيُؤْمِنُوا بِمَا كَذَّبُوا بِهِ مِنْ قَبْلُ The same law of of, you know, Hidayah and Zalalah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whosoever has decided to remain on the wrong path, they never get the guidance. They never avail of the guidance. فَمَا كَانُوا لَيُؤْمِنُوا بِمَا كَذَّبُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ They were not to believe in what they had rejected in the very beginning. كَذَلِكَ نَتْبَعُوا عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِ الْمُعْتَدِينَ And this is how we put, we set seal on the hearts of the Mu'tadeen transgressors. Summa ba'asna min ba'adhi Musa wa Haruna ila Fir'auna wa Malayhi. Now the last one. I have told you six. They are repeated in Quran many times. Here, the first and the last are mentioned with names and the intervening four only referred to in that ayah. Summa ba'asna min ba'adhi Musa wa Haruna ila Fir'auna wa Malayhi. And then we sent Musa and Harun Ila Fir'auna wa Malayhi. Now there the word Qaum doesn't appear. This is very important, but because the time, you know, is over for this first session, this is a very important, you know, point of political science or sociology, which must understand why this change. Ila Qaumihi, Ila Qaumihi, Ila Qaumihi. No, not to the Qaum. Musa and Harun were sent to Fir'aun and wa Malayhi, to Fir'aun and his chiefs. بِآيَاتِنَا فَاسْتَقْبَرُوا وَكَانُوا قَوْمَ مُجْرِمِينَ بَارَكَ اللَّهُ لِي وَلَكُمْ فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْعَصِيمِ وَنَفَعْنِي وَإِيَّاكُمْ بِالْآيَاتِ وَزِكِ الْحَكِيمِ